gotta chase your dreams, man. They really is beast. I'm a the cloud. I'm getting money. On a private jet. And I'ma get more money. To fly across the world, man. I got I look around. Louis Gucci ball, man. And see all this gold on me. Alexander Wayne on me, man. Soldier. Supreme on me. Rivals on me. Whipping my wrist, 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 got all these bricks, getting them stacking them packing. Crank that was a huge success as a song connected with a special dance. Uh, then we had similar situations with Dan Franchise Boys, Kelly Swag District, or later Bobby Schmerda and his Shmoney Dance. And do you feel that you were some kind of pioneer of it? And Crank that paved the way for combinations like this. Oh, I just feel like, you know, I was the first one to do it, you know what I'm saying? That was That's the wave, you feel me? And it's just like, it's a blueprint that I started, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, Crank Dad was one of the biggest dances ever, man, you know? Shut that door! Crank Dad was one of the biggest dances ever, you know what I'm saying? One of my most successful songs, so, of course, you're going to have other dances like that that come out, you feel what I'm saying? So free Bobby Smurder though, that's my homie though, man. Much success to everybody doing their thing, doing dances. I, I got respect for all y'all. And what was the hardest part of becoming the worldwide superstar after her first single? Coming up with another hit, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people said I was gonna be a one hit wonder. You know, I just had to prove them wrong. I came, kiss me through the phone, turn my swag on, pretty boy swag, nigga we made it, yes bitch, yes. Fuck them, you know what I'm saying? Just just consistently make hit after hit after hit after hit, you know what I'm saying? So that was just one of my biggest struggles, man, and just adjusting to the lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? My whole life changed real quick, so I just had to adjust, adjust and, and, and just learn and adapt with everything, you know what I'm saying? And when we take a look at your collabs and cosigns, uh, it's really interesting. You was the only famous person on Chief Keef's uh, Back From The Dead mixtape. You also recorded uh, with Lil B and Migos before they became rapsters. And uh, are there also some other future stars that you are in touch now? And uh, you, you're 100% sure that they will blow up? Man, you know, it's just it's a crazy situation, man. It's just like I keep my ear to the street, you know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like I know what's, 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 what's the next to blow. I know, I know what's the next hot song or I know who, what's the next hot artist just because of, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? It's just my swag, you know what I'm saying? I could just peep, you know, I could just see talent in other people, you know what I'm saying? So I usually get on artists early. So um, we just gotta start signing these niggas. <laughs> we gotta, gotta get these motherfuckers on paperwork, but we got a couple of uh, other artists too, though, you gonna be seeing coming out real soon uh, on the SODMG, you know what I'm saying? So, but shout out, even if they ain't signed to me though, you know, I just, I just like to work with real, raw talent you know what i'm saying real you know just real raw talent you feel me so it just showed that, that i'm right though because every time i work with an underground artist or work with somebody that's just now starting they continue on to be mainstream and have you know what i'm saying uh, some some type of career so uh i don't know man i just keep my eyes to the street man that's all and uh, you mentioned your label stacks on deck and you founded it uh, in 2004 Yes, and signed various artists, but you're still the only one who released an album. So when should we expect the albums from other um, uh, members? Man, we're just gonna keep working, you know what I'm saying? We, we are trying to do the SODMG compilation album right now. It's just a lot that go on behind the music and behind the scenes of things that people, people don't know. Uh, we had artists that released mixtapes, we released a lot of mixtapes, but we, do, we didn't do an official album on our artist yet because we just want to do it right, you know what I'm saying? When I release an artist, I want them to sell a million copies, you feel me? So we just, we just want to do everything the proper way, man. And um, that's what it is, y'all be on the lookout, man. 2015, SODMG Records, we coming, man. Y'all already know how we coming, man. And I heard the rumors that you recorded your platinum major debut uh, using just the demo version of FL Studio program. Is it true? Basically, um, yeah, it's true. It's true that I made the beat on the demo version of Fruity Loops. I made the beat to crank that. I recorded it on um, acoustical mix craft, you feel me? Which is the same shit, though. It's just like, you know, just like a demo version. I had like a $15 Walmart headphone, and I just had a dream, you know what I'm saying? And I just, I just felt like the song had so much swag, so 
when I put it out, the quality was terrible, but the people liked it so much that it became a hit. So, you know, uh, after I re-recorded it, it went on to sell 10 million copies and over 100 million views on YouTube, Grammy nominated, all this type of shit. So it's just all about, you know, just, uh, you know, it's not about having a million dollar studio and shit like that. It's just about making a hit and putting it out. And if the people like it, they like it, you know what I'm saying? And what do you think about the situation uh, at the Atlanta scene today? Uh, how the how the situation sound and everything uh, changed uh, since your debut? Because it's a lot of uh, new talents in Atlanta right now. I mean, I I love it. You know what I'm saying? I love it. You know, uh, shouts out to everybody from Atlanta doing their thing right now. Shout out to all the new artists, up and coming artists doing their thing, man. Y'all know what it is, man. Soldier ain't gonna hate on nobody, man. Everybody. It's enough money for everybody, man. Y'all keep doing y'all thing, man. Salute. Okay, so at the end, please tell us, what should we expect uh, from Soldier Boy in the next uh, months? Um, You could expect a new album, me producing more beats, um, me doing TV shows, acting in movies, and just, just basically getting involved in a lot of companies, man. You know what I'm saying? Right now, I got ownership in a lot of different companies. I got my clothing line, Boulevard Supply. I just got a lot of different business moves and business ventures that I'm uh, further into doing. I'm sorry about that. I, um, that's it, man. Just more music, more hits, more Billboard hits. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. Touring the world too. I'm going across the whole world. Okay. So thanks for the interview, and we wait for your show today. Thank you. Swag.